in my previous video, I showed you how I built my leaping arch or my lighted arch and what it can do. Now today I'm going to show you how I built a programming box or the light control box for it. Now this is a very crude box I made out of scrap lumber and materials I had laying around the house. Next year I plan on building a bigger box and it's going to be a lot better built. Now once I get everything set up in here, I might cover it up with a tarp and everything just to keep the weather and elements out of it. Now this is an 8 channel box. You can buy professionally built uh, Christmas light control boxes. Uh, there's a couple of companies like Lightorama for say. And a 16 channel Lightorama box is going to cost you about $325 to $350. I built this eight channel box for roughly less than a hundred dollars. I'm thinking probably around $75, not including all the extension cords I made. And that's another video. And next year, the box I'm gonna build is gonna have 48 channels. It's gonna be a bigger box, a lot better made than this one. This was kind of a last minute type thing. I threw it together, you know, the holidays kind of caught up on me anyways. A 48 channel light or wrong box is going to cost you about $885, and might as well say $900 after shipping and taxes and everything. Now, my 48 channel box is going to cost me, I'm going to say, less than $300 to build. So, I'm going to save myself about $500 to $600 easily, and I can, you know, say I did it myself. Now, let's get inside this box and see how it all works. This is the light controller box that I built to control my leaping arch. It'll hold eight channels or eight strings of lights. And I built this very crude box to house everything. Now, let's get inside and see what's all in there. Got a basic little hinge. Just, this box was very crudely built out of scrap material, as you can see. Now, first off, you see I have eight outlets. I can control each one of these outlets separately. As you can tell, I have each outlet numbered. Now, let's open this up and see what's in this inside of here. Inside the box, I have this power strip. It has an eight foot cord on. I got an eight foot cord so I can have plenty of room to run my lights to it. Now, off that power strip comes this cord. This power cord goes to the back of the box here. We'll get into that in just a minute. Then also have this AC to DC converter. I think it goes down to 12 volts and it will put out up to two amps, I believe, which is plenty enough for what I need it for. Now, Here's the guts and brain work of everything. The power strip comes in. All my common wires are connected via these Wagyu or Wagyu connectors. You can get a box of 25 of them off Amazon for, I think they were, uh, they were cheap, not, not too expensive. They're a whole lot easier than using wire nuts and you can reuse them again, pull the wires out, so on. And then I have my commons all connected in this one. And all the grounds connected in this one. Okay. Now, this right here is a Arduino Mega 2560. It's actually a clone. It's not the real Arduino. You can get these off Amazon for less than $10. You can program them via an Arduino uh, program, or there's Vixen you can use. It's a Christmas light program. There's a couple of ways you can program them. And you program it via a laptop with the USB cord. I leave the USB cord attached to it, so if I have to change anything up in the show, I can just hook to it and have to hook the cord. Now, the Arduino, what it does is, once you program it, 
via these wires right here, it sends a high signal, which is a voltage signal, or a low signal, which is no voltage, shuts it off. Now when you turn it on and off, it goes down to here. What this is, is an eight channel solid state relay board. It gets five volts off your Arduino and then ground. And whenever you send a low voltage signal to this one, or an off signal, this is a low level trigger. You have a high level and a low level. This is a low level. So when there's no voltage sent to it, it turns everything on, or turns the relays on. Now, when the relay turns on, it completes the circuit of the hot wire, okay? And then when it completes the circuit for the hot wire, it turns on each outlet. Each outlet has a separate hot wire and the back side of your outlet is a bar on the side that you cut off and that creates two separate outlets instead of one outlet being powered by one set of power now you have two power inputs for two separate outlets and what you do is when you program your arduino you program it the time how long you want each channel to be on or off for seconds milliseconds up to a hundredth of a second. It gets, gets pretty pretty detailed. So this is what's inside the gang boxes. I cut the tab off of the hot side. And what that does is makes the top and bottom receptacle separate from each other. As you can tell right there, that's one I haven't cut off. I cut that tab off. And then I had to use a 14 gauge wire. Now, when you use the 14 gauge wire, you can actually use the back push connector where the wires just push in. And on your outlets, you will have a stripping guide, which you see right there. It tells you how far to strip the wire back. Push it in, it'll lock in place. I connected all the common wires on the silver side to each receptacle. And then I connected a ground. So each receptacle is grounded. And what will happen is power coming into the relay board will be turned on and off. And when the power is turned on, it will come to each separate black wire. And when that happens, you will complete the circuit and your lights will turn on.